Most entrepreneurs and multi-unit franchisees' long-term vision involves owning a business to build wealth, support a lifestyle, and live off the cash after a one-day sale. However, successful owners know this dream can become a reality only with the right business succession strategy, starting with the end in mind way before exiting the business. In this episode, Michael Einbinder with Einbinder and & Dunn and the Rawls Group succession planner, Jeff Bannon, discusses key strategies to protect and grow your business. Further, Jeff and Michael share a few horror stories to provide insight into the pitfalls you can avoid. Um, well, there's two questions there. There's the, how do I protect it? And the second is, how do I grow it? Um, obviously, from a protection standpoint, protecting the business means that you have um, processes in place, uh, people in place, um, and financial capital to make sure the business continue in your absence. Um, you know, we see a lot of entrepreneurs are essentially, you know, one person show where it's a hub and spoke model. They're the center of the universe and they're the ones calling the shots and communicating with everybody. And that model uh, does not lend itself well to protecting the business if something happened to them. Um, so as, as we talk about um, how to protect a business, most entrepreneurs think, uh, you know, if, if I'm going to build this thing, someday I'll sell it and, you know, I'll be financially independent to do what I want. And I'll have an estate to pass down to my children. Uh, the real the reality of that is that the value of the business is based on the predictability of future cash flows, um, which means that um, the likelihood of your business to continue successfully cannot be dependent on one person. Um, there's been lots of horror stories where, uh, you know, an entrepreneur will pass away. Uh, the wife will inherit it. She has no operational experience or the husband inherits. He has no operational experience. And they say, great, let's go sell to market. Well, the pre- predictability of cash flows just went down. Therefore, um, you know, I've, I've had a client uh, spouse have to sell because they didn't get any planning in place um, for one twelfth the value of the business, what it was worth when the entrepreneur was around. And it's a sad reality. So I think um, getting your personal affairs in order, getting that stuff taken care of is Uh, fundamentally the best way to protect the value. And then when you look at growing the business, um, there's really three components to growth. Uh, That's people, uh, processes, and and financial capital. Uh, Most successful entrepreneurs um, have processes and capital right now uh, that they've done well. And the hardest part is people, which we'll probably talk about here in a minute. Uh, But growing the business, you really have to look at those three areas. Um, and um, as you look at the labor shortage and the impact that has on people and your availability to uh, support it, uh, you know, new uh, units that you, that you pick up um, is harder and harder. Um, I like to do a stress test with a lot of organizations we work with that said, you know, if an opportunity fell in your lap tomorrow that was too good to be true, do you have the manpower to do this? And, and a lot of them say that's the one area we can't, um, we can't meet. Uh, in order to accommodate the growth plan. So what we've seen in terms of growth is really just the uh, reinvestment into people, training processes and things like that um, in order to be prepared for those opportunities as they come up. Um, You you won't get any disagreement from me about what Jeff is saying about any of that. Um, You know, we've we've talked about, you know, the protect part of this a number of times, and this doesn't have to be something that you think of because there's an emergency or because the economy is going down, this is critical or may go down or may be a recession. This is critical for everything we do, you know, entrepreneurs in particular, family run businesses, but larger enterprises or those that aren't really family owned, but, you know, are are thinking about what happens when the owners want to move on and when when are they going to cash out? When are they going to exit? What that's going to look like? Getting your ducks in a row is absolutely critical to that, whether times are good or bad. And if they're bad, it's even it's, it's more problematic, obviously, because it's going to affect valuations considerably. So it's just an essential tool for every business to, to create a pathway to to sell, sell the business to successors or whatever it is. But all of that takes is, is getting everything working the way it's supposed to, whether it's you know, training or bringing in family members who can take over a business. I mean, the, the prospect of having a spouse of a business owner be the person who operates a business after a spouse, after the, the husband or wife um, passes away, I mean, the, the, you know, with a, with a spouse who knows nothing about the business is a, is a nightmare for, for companies. It takes away considerable value. And if you need some sort of bridge to get to where you can sell the business, the worst thing in the world is you don't have that set up. 
So that takes putting the right people in place, training younger family members to be involved in it, training high level employees. We've talked about keeping people on, making sure they're in the business for a period of time, maybe giving them a stake in the business to keep them on, especially through a sale or an emergency. Those things are as pertinent now or more pertinent now potentially than they have been, but they're always important. Although there are many unknowns about the future, business succession planning positions you to take advantage of opportunities the marketplace creates. By proactively addressing possible, probable, and potential issues, you create many options at your fingertips. Do you have a question you want to discuss with an expert? Feel free to reach out directly to Michael or Jeff at the email addresses listed on the screen. This is only one out of our five episode series focused on succeeding despite economic uncertainties. Continue listening to the series now or come back for more. Each topic featured may want you to learn something new. Succeeding despite economic uncertainties is a part of the Rawls Group's Advancing Your Business, People, and Legacy conversation series. 